And this is my latest version of my router milling machine. I've had a lot of requests for a smaller machine, so I put this together. It's, uh, uh, it works as good as the big one. You know, the capacity is smaller, but most of the time, smaller projects uh, are all you do on these things. So uh, for the most part, having the room to put it somewhere was a big issue. Uh, this one is basically a bench top. I've got it just sitting on a cart right now, but it can sit on a bench, any size bench. And it actually has a foot pedal on it. Um, I can show you that in a few minutes. I'll lower the camera a little bit. But that's adjustable to too, too, the, uh, the height of your, your table that you're sitting on, table or bench or whatever it might be. Um, the, this table here comes off. There's just two bolts that comes off. It makes it very transportable. And this whole head unit, um, has one major bolt in the back that pulls everything from the center and keeps it it keeps it tight on there And that just comes off of one one bolt. So it's very transportable uh, It's easy to, to move ship whatever I'm going to do with it um, As far as table movement and everything it's still the same as my big machine uh, And like I said, it's just it's just smaller movement, but uh, there's still quite a bit of movement on it. I've got my stop set right now, so I'm not going that far. Uh, you can see the movement that it does has. There's, you have about uh, 16 inches front to back, and about uh, 28 inches of total movement right to left. The uh, tabletop is just plywood. Um, I've got, I don't know if you can see the marks on here or not. I'll bring the camera here and, and a little closer in a second here and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, the table top is just plywood. Um, I've got uh, reference lines on here that come in handy from time to time when you're uh, routing or clamping something on. I have a center uh, piece of plastic here. It's three quarter inch thick and I have several holes, different size holes drilled in it. And I use those for either pivot holes or for uh, doing pin routing. And I have different uh, size pins available for each hole. The, the clamping system I use is basically just, uh, uh, I have several threaded inserts in here and I can move this, I can move the back one. I use the back one as a permanent one and I can move it up back and forth as much as I need. And then this one has a slide. So I just put it in there, I'll clamp one side and I'll push the other side and, and clamp it. Uh, what I've got is uh, three-quarter inch wide strips of 100 gauge sandpaper that I glued to this. And that amazingly stops everything from, doesn't take much pressure to hold everything in place. Okay, now the head unit itself um, is a little different than uh, my big machine. My big machine, I actually use a crank to, to, to raise and lower a whole, uh, almost a turret type system in the back. But uh, this has some adjustment. There's five inches of travel on this with a bolt in the back that I can move this whole thing up and down. So if I wanted to get my work closer before I started getting any travel on the head unit itself, I could do that because the closer you are, the, the less stretched out you are with your uh, uh, with the slide on this, the more stable it probably is. It's still pretty stable at full length, but I try to get it closer. But the movement on the on the head unit, there's about seven inches of total travel on here. And I can actually move this, the whole seven inches with this handle. You can almost kind of use this for a grill press device too. Um, so I go up to seven inches. And what there is, um, there's a foot pedal on here. It's connected into the same system. And there's three inches of travel on the foot pedal. So what I might do is I'll get this close to my work and then I'll set a stop here that leaves it at that point. And then using the foot pedal, I can I can go into my work with the foot pedal. Like that. Um, there's also a stop here that I want to measure the depth or stop the depth. It stops at that point right there. So I can easily set the depths of my cuts. Okay, this is the foot pedal system. Um, there's an adjust, there's a rod right here, there's an adjustment bolt right here that will adjust the height of this according to whatever you set it on. And it, it has rubber pads on the uh, foot pedal itself so it doesn't slide around. Um, 
and you, like I said, you've got three inches of travel with the foot pedal. That moves the whole upper head unit. Now to take it off, if you're going to clean the floor or something, you just loosen the bolt right there and then take it and remove it, whatever you need to do. But I made it that way because several people wanted to set it on a bench and they didn't want to have anything permanent. You could build something permanent for it except this foot pedal into it if you'd like. Okay, so getting into the head unit, like I said before, there's one half inch center bolt right here. What there is is there's a nine inch disc right here. Um, and basically that's conical shaped. There's only like a three quarter or one inch rim around the outside edge. So when this bolt tightens up, all the pressure's on the outside edge and it, it holds it very, very tight. And it also takes us that one bolt. I've got it loose right now just so I can show how it tips. But you can, see, you can also tip the, the whole uh, head unit itself for angle cuts. And everything still works the same as far as plunging. Still works the same. Um, if I want to lower this and get closer to my work, I have a just a crank here. I mean, it's it's not something you'll be using while you're routing, but it'll get you closer to your work, and then and then you'd be set and it'd work a little better that way. And then what you do is when you get it moved down here where you want, you just line everything up, tighten this bolt, and you're ready to go. The neat thing about this is, you know. Some people say, well, why don't you turn it into a CNC? Um, you know, and that's really it wasn't my purpose for this thing. You can just throw something on here in an instant. Um, um, CNC has its purpose. Uh, this can't compete with a CNC for what a CNC does. But this thing can do many more things than a CNC does. Um, you know, I can make bowls with this too. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to compete with a lathe. But to, to be able to make... Uh, you can make oblong bowls with it. You can make odd shaped bowls with it. And it's not just a straight up and down cut. You can cut an angle and have flared edges. And you can even take the bowl, turn it upside down, and mill legs in it. You know, so it's all permanent part of the same bowl. And that's the neat thing about this. You know, I mean, it has its practical purposes, such as uh, mortise and tenon, but, you know, I really don't even use it for that. Um, um, I make a lot of jigs with this uh, for other projects for my handheld router if I need some special curve or a nice curve for a, as a template I'll use this and I'll use a pin in one of here one of these holes and uh, and make a, uh, a round template it's you know it's just perfectly round and, uh, and it works great uh, the more I have it in my shop the more I, I use these things it's a it's an incredible machine it's it, now I was going to make some videos and I'm going to make some videos on the use of this thing I just recently did a project with this, just experimenting with it. And this just goes to show you, you know, the difference of, you know, I mean, you couldn't do this on the lathe. This is all one piece of wood. It's all cut out of one piece of wood. You know, the holes are conical. The outside is conical. Um, you know, and it's just, uh, it's just a lot of fun. I mean, I, think I cut this out in probably 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and, and it was fun. It may, it's really easy. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, just kind of a neat machine. Your own imagination is is, uh, is is what's going to take you where you want to go with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'm going to do some other simple videos here shortly and post them.